just to, I suppose, on the theme of, of the team and, and uh, the performance analysis or video analysis, call what you will, we've always been particularly into this because I think it's a very important item to have that you know you speak to players about what goes on and you want to show them the things they do well and you want to show them things that might be able to be done a wee bit differently and uh, we've had we've done the best we could with the with the um, with the analysis package that we had up to this but just this year now we've been very fortunate to come across Avenir Sports and uh, the county board and everybody else backed us in in purchasing this particular uh, technology and uh, we have found it to be most beneficial. I suppose the key for me is anyway and this it can do many things and the people who are technologically well uh, experienced here can do many many things with it but I don't care how that comes about or how they get there I know it can be done but it's just I think for me the, the, the real value of this is that there's a behind the goal camera that goes up about 25, 30 foot in the air and gives us a particular view of the game that you just see loads of things that you would not see otherwise. And it is so beneficial because um, I'm going to show you a clip or two. This is the way that the, that the, uh, the footage can be split up here. So you're looking at the normal uh, side on view here, which shows you a certain amount of stuff, but it doesn't really tell you what movements are happening up ahead of these players. It doesn't really give the players you know, sometimes players out the field, you see them on the ball and you wonder, is there anything happening up ahead of them? And you don't know because of the, of the footage at the side when you're reflecting on a game. Then we, Avenir Sports came along here with their behind the goal camera, which you can see the two running here. And here's this same piece of footage now and you can see exactly where the people are, who's running into space or who's not running into space and what the, 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 the layout of the field is. So you can see where there's lots of empty space on one side of the goals and you can see where people make moves and make runs to try and make themselves available. I think there's another piece here that we're going to look at um, again. Here's the side on. Sometimes the camera and the side on, they get very close in on the players and looking back it doesn't give you the kind of picture that you want to see because you don't know what's happening up ahead there. And you don't know the runs that's been made by the inside men. But if you look at this from the other perspective here, there's the very same piece of footage. Look at the Stephen O'Neill here and the runs that he's making. He's, he's checking, he's running, he's checking, and you don't know, you don't see this in the side camera. How does he eventually become available for this ball? He runs one way, he checks, goes back the other way. He's always looking, he's always trying to uh, lose his man, and eventually he makes the run. The player on the ball sees him, he kicks it in, and not everybody can kick points from there, but he can. But... Um, Really, the real benefit I see in this is how we can look at footage, look at the game, look at the same piece of play and give ourselves a whole different perspective on it. And then when you actually show that to the players, they begin to understand what you're looking for. Or there's no hiding place. You know, if players are supposed to be making moves, making runs and not doing it, well, you can say there's the footage that, that tells you that it's not happening. Or you can equally show someone like Stephen O'Neill who will make one, two or three runs, check several times and then make the run for the ball. Again, we use that's in a game, an actual game we played. We use it in the training ground as well for our in-house match, which is played right out here in Gervahi as well. And you see the same piece. You're looking at it from a side-on view, and you just see the, the angle that shows you. And then here's what you get from behind the goal. So it's just the, 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 the difference is amazing uh, where you can see actually what's happening. And you get the full picture of where on the field the players are situated. You see who's making the moves, who's making really good runs, and you can see how the people on the, on the ball do have their options and where those options come from. So, I mean, we would, we would spend lots of time doing this. And again, you can see now just such a different view of all that's happened behind the goals, how this goal comes about, and you don't really get the full view of how that happens from side on. So really, uh, the additional thing to this as well is that we can put up notes, we can type up notes on the footage that will actually explain what's going on this is behind the goal camera it gives much better this is just a very small indication of what you can do so we can type up so sometimes when you see have a bit of video that you want to show the players and you have a reason for picking it and you're worked over a few hours getting all this together and then just you want to be able to deliver the real key messages that you that you see in this footage and by being able to type it up here not only you know the players can read it as well as what's the action, they can read what it is you're trying to share with them in terms of what might help them to be better at what they do. So, uh, Avenir Sports, the name of the company, they're on duty here tonight. Um, I think that people who are serious about being better uh, performers as a team uh, should do well to just take a good look at what this equipment has to offer. And uh, I think you'll be very impressed by it. And I suppose those people, there's a lot of 
technology goes into it and you can obviously collate all the kick outs, collate all the attacks that you make, collate all the break ball in the middle of the field, you can actually tag individual players. There's virtually nothing you couldn't do with it if you're so inclined and have a, an aptitude for that kind of work. Uh, so it is a very high class piece of um, equipment. The people who run it here, Simon and Tommy, have been very, very attentive to us. Sometimes you get equipment and when it's sold to you, you're gone, goodbye, and you're left to paddle your own canoe. It's not the case here. We've had wonderful support all the while, always at the end of a phone, always willing to help us out in anything we want to do to make the best out of this piece of equipment. So Avenir Sports, I recommend to you, so any club who feels that they want to advance their, 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 their uh, championship hopes, that might be no bad thing to do. So.